Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we are going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in the series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. Now, if you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam. So make sure to click that like button and subscribe. That way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we are covering interest problems this week. So far, so good. And we are jumping into a different type of problem this day. And for the rest of the week, they're going to be slightly different as they were before. So pay attention, stay tuned, and let's learn something new. All right. So the question says, what is the annual interest rate on a $10,000 loan that requires a semi-annual interest payment of $450? And it gives us four options like usual. And at this point, I'm going to give you guys an opportunity to pause here, bust it out, do the math, try and figure out the correct answer for this problem. So go ahead and do that right now. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys came up with your answer on this one. Of course, hopefully it's the correct answer. Uh, if you need more time, feel free to pause. No biggie, no sweat. All right, so what is our correct answer for this one? All right, so our correct answer is going to be C. That's right, 9%. Uh-oh, how many of you guys said 4.5%? Did you guys fall for the little trick? Maybe leave a comment down below if you fell for the trick on this problem. So look, guys, this is different than the two problems that we did before, and here's why. It says here this semi-annual interest payment. Uh oh, so what does that mean? Well, semi-annual just means two. Just think of it as the number two, meaning we have to double this number right here, this $450. So in problems where there's semi-annual interest payment, we have to double the number that they're giving us. So in our instance, we're going to do that. So we're going to take $450. And again, we're just going to multiply that by two, uh, or we're going to double it, which gives us $900. So why are we doing that? Well, again, it's asking us what the annual interest rate on the loan is. So we're looking at it from a yearly perspective. Now, if it was asking us what the semi-annual interest rate would be, um, it would be a different problem, obviously, and we would have to do different things. But again, because it's asking us for the annual interest rate, we have to double uh, what they gave us because, again, it was the semi-annual. I hope that makes sense. So now, once we have this $900, that is our annual interest payment, which, again, we could put into our formula, which we covered earlier this week, which was annual interest payment divided by the total loan and that will give us our annual interest rate. So let's do that right now. So again, we're taking this $900, and then we're gonna be dividing that by $10,000, and that is going to give us 9% or 0 point or point zero 0.09, uh, or again, 9%. So that is our annual interest rate on this problem. Did that make sense? Again, uh, Please comment if you guys fell for that, because this is what they do on the exam. They'll give you guys some softball, some easy ones, um, and then boom, out of nowhere, they hit you with a curveball. Um, but yeah, so again, that's why I, the way I organized this this week is to try and do that, to try and explain to you guys that they are going to trick you and switch things up a little bit here and there. So hopefully you guys understood that and hopefully you guys, you will be paying attention for those of you guys who, you know, accidentally messed up on this one. Hopefully you guys will be paying attention from now on uh, when it says these annual interest payments, uh, you know, what are we working with? Now, of course, I do have to mention um, that it so happens in this problem because we're talking about semi-annual, you could technically do this another way. Uh, you could just take this uh, you could do do all the math that we normally did. So you would take your semi-annual interest uh, payment 
you would divide that by the loan amount. And then at the very end, you could double it. So you would have this 4.5% and then you just double it and you would get 9%, which would be the same answer. Um, but again, you know, with a lot of these types of math problems, uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, there's going to be different ways to do them. Just do whatever you feel is most comfortable to you. That's what matters. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Whatever you feel is most comfortable, do it. Um, you know, even if it's against what I'm saying, seriously, I mean, I, I want you guys to pass the exam. We want you guys to pass the exam. It's as simple as that. So if you have to do some weird method, as long as it works and it's comfortable to you, do it. Um, but yeah, I'll leave, I'll leave it at that. Um, but all right, guys, well, that's going to be it for this video. Sorry for the little ramble at the end there, but, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed Please leave a comment, question, anything, all that good stuff down below. Of course, subscribe if you're new to the channel. We post videos like this all the time. Uh, it's pretty great. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. As always, this is Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical. I'll see you guys next time.